Okay, let's talk about sequence. So sequence is basically a um, list of numbers having first, second, third, fourth, and any or just odd sequence, even sequence. So uh, let me actually uh, show you what I'm talking about. Okay, so if I have, for example, first, second, third, fourth, or one, three, five, seven, and so on and so on. This is called a sequence. Well, sequence, this is always your first sequence, a first term, this is a two, second term, this is a three, this is the third term, and this is a four, this is the fourth term, and of course, a sub n, which is somewhere along the line, we don't know, okay? All right, so let's take a look here. We have a different kind of sequence. We have arithmetic sequence, we have geometric sequence, we have Fibonacci sequence, sometimes none of them, okay, given the sequence, sometimes we can figure it out. Sometimes we can find the missing number, but we cannot label it what kind of sequence is that. So we have to build up some knowledge or use the inductive reasoning actually, okay. So let's take a look at the first one here. So arithmetic sequence, the first thing we want to make sure we know that is called the common difference. In order to be an arithmetic sequence, we look, in, we look into the sequence carefully, right? And we observe and see what is going on with that, okay? So if I look into this two, this two here, right? I clearly see there is uh, six is the difference. Is it six is the difference? No, it's negative six actually clearly see, going down, okay? I don't wanna say six, I wanna say negative six. So same thing here is going negative six, down negative six. So you will know already what should be the next number, okay? Some of you still say, oh, how do you figure it out? He's talking about a common difference, but how do you take the difference? It's 14 minus 20 is negative six, that's called the difference. And eight minus 14, that is also negative six. And two minus eight is also negative six. So clearly our common difference is negative six. Once we have our common difference, right, we can just add, we can just add that common difference to the last number, okay? So we can just add it. So while in this case, this one is gonna be, if you add two plus negative six, it should give you negative four. So that is the negative four. This missing number is negative four. Then we have next one, if I look into the next one here, right? Next one should be a negative four minus plus negative six, that should give us a negative 10. So that is a negative 10, clearly, as you see, right? So that is called arithmetic sequence and we have a common difference. And once we have a common difference, we can actually find the missing number by using the opposite one, okay? So basically, we clearly see the difference is common, which is a negative six, and we find the missing numbers. Now I wanna show you something different here, okay? Something different. So I'm gonna erase this stuff here, and I wanna introduce with you something called general term. So let me erase this one here. It's called general term. General T R M. Okay, so what is that? It is A sub N is equal to first term plus N minus one times the difference. This is called general term of the arithmetic sequence. The reason I brought this up, I wanna make sure that we understand. Any kind of, if it is arithmetic sequence, it must follow or it must work on this general term. So well, the one we have here, can you check this out? Well, I wanna find out 14. I wanna find out my sequence two, actually on this case, okay? Term two, I'm sorry, term two. So A sub two, so what is A sub two? Clearly I see, well, this is my A1, this is my A2. So I'm trying to see if A2 is 14 or not. So how do you do that? I'm gonna find out, I'm gonna N, I'm gonna put down A2 and I'm gonna replace it. So A1, well, what is the A1? A1 is 20 plus 
n in this case is 2 minus 1 times the difference is negative 6 okay here you go so then of course 20 plus negative 6 and of course it is 14 a2 is equal to 14 guess what it works so as you know if you try to find any of them still is going to work so this is called general term of arithmetic sequence okay now let's take a look on the next one so if i look into the next one down here right it's going to give me well same thing here i'm going to check what is the difference between them well 12 take away 7 is 5 also i clearly see 5 also i clearly see 5 so since my difference is 5 common difference is 5 i just add 5 to the last one so it's going to give you 27 and of course i'm going to add it's going to give me 32 so that's how i find the missing one again a uh, general term of arithmetic sequence still is going to work on this one also now let's move into the next one so this one what is the common difference so common difference in this case is one here this one is two no i cannot say it common difference anymore i see different difference in this case so well let's get obviously this is not arithmetic not arithmetic arithmetic sequence so well can i still use my inductive reasoning yes look at this here so this is three this is four so clearly you see there is something going on as you see there is one here now the difference is one now difference is one now difference is one so that difference should be one too so in other word you add five to this one so 13 plus 5 which should be 18 plus 6 should be 24 i can easily find the missing number but i don't want to label this as an arithmetic sequence even though i see the pattern at the end but we don't want to say arithmetic sequence right away but we can find the missing one again so well, does this one have any um, general term let's just work it out here okay so i'm going to erase this mess a little bit here so i want to well actually the difference look at this here one two three four and of course that's five and going on like that what is going on you just add up one so a sub n we can just create a general term on this one also a sub one sorry a sub n is equal to a sub n is equal to basically previous term a n minus one previous term plus one plus one okay so let's take a look here what's going on if i want to create a general term remember general term of this one was earlier our arithmetic was this one a sub one plus n minus one times d now our general term is different okay so in this case every time i'm adding the n every time i'm adding n what is n just one adding so well and of course adding with what the previous term so previous term this is called previous term okay and adding one n so one plus one is two two plus one is three three plus one is four four plus one is five so which one are you adding you adding to previous one so a n minus one this is how we call it previous term plus one that is going to give you the missing term of this one any one term you want to find for example you want to find uh, a sub 15th or 100th terms still you can find that okay by using this general term of this sequence okay so I hope, I hope you understand how to identify arithmetic sequence and what is their general term as you see and of course uh, we can find the missing numbers also all right and also before i hang up 